Hello friends, greetings and welcome to Volunteer Channel TV. I want to thank those who subscribe to my channel. I say thank you and may God continue to help you, bless you, increase whatever you're doing, whatever you lay your hands on. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please click that red subscribe button and the bell icon beside it so that anytime I drop a video or a clip, it will come straight to you. I want to call on my prayer warriors. Please continue to pray for Mazim Namikano. He's going through hell. Pray for him and pray for the lawyers. Your prayers are working, but we need action to back up your prayers. We need action to back up your prayers. A lawyer, Ejimako, according to his Facebook page, he says he had a, a press conference yesterday, which is the 18th of November 2021. He said Mazim Namdekano in detention conditions at DSS amounts to torture. Now, Mazim Namdekano is going through torture, through hell. I would like for you because I don't I you know like I said when I when I broadcast I don't give you the news I don't tell you this person said this I try to give you where you can go and pull it up and read it yourself so that it won't be a hearsay You go to barrister Aloy Ejimako page on Facebook. His press conference that's released is there. It's about 11, 11 items. You go there and read it and see how Mazim Namdekano is crying out. He's crying out because of his conditions. I'd like for you to go there and read it. Read what that man is going through. Not only read that, you can go to my Twitter handle. I posted it on my Twitter handle under this channel, Volunteer Channel TV. Go there and read it up. And I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed about IPOB and their folks about DOS, everybody coming out on social media, ranting rubbish. Come on, you need to take that nonsense. Go create, go create a forum somewhere, bringing out your dirty laundry on social media to discuss that. Who has time for that? You are deviating. You are losing focus on what you're supposed to do. You are losing focus. You are deviating. People are talking about finances of IPOB and who fired who, who, who left in the, in the DOS. Who gives a damn? We don't care. You are losing focus. You need to focus on your agitation. Whatever decision they make their in IPOB uh, DOS. They need to form a forum where they can discuss all of that and take care of business and not bringing your dirty laundry out in the open. Who cares? Who wants to know about that? We are talking about Mazin Nande Kano being in serious condition. Facing torture, and you sitting over there 
gallivanting and talking about finances and and you know anytime you follow a trail of money trying to find out who did this who did that you are losing focus and most people that does that they are looking for self gratification they are not in tune they are not in line with with the agitation they trying to see where it will benefit them instead of focusing all I hear all this week on social media about IPOB. Who did this? Who did that? Take your laundry, the dirty laundry somewhere else. We don't want to know about none of that. Come out and agitate. Form something. Do something. Just like I heard the, the Fulanese, they were saying they kept El Zazaki in a prison for four years, five years. Nothing happened. Heaven did not fall. They even killed his children. Heaven did not fall. And they were saying they can keep Mazim Namdekano till 2023. Heaven will not fall. That's what the Fulanese are saying. Are you going to sit there and start ranting on social media about finance or who got fired or who, who remained in, in the DOS? And furthermore, DOS. Please, next time you make a pronouncement, next time you make an order, stand with your pronouncement. Stand with your order. Don't tell us something today and tomorrow you, you start saying something else. Stay focused. And before you make that pronouncement, check the, the good and bad of it. Before Once it comes out from your mouth and you say it, stand by it. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. We got to focus on what to do to get Mazin Namdekano out. If it calls for protest, if it calls for sit at home, if it calls for anything that it calls for, we need to do something. We need to do what we need to do to get Mazin Namdekano out. And furthermore, the same thing that's going on at IPOB is going on Yoruba Nation agitation. The same thing. Sabos are in everywhere. I hate to use that word. But people will get in your system and distract you. You lose focus. I hate that word, Sabo, but it's there. People will get into you and distract you. People that have been sold out. And that's the worst thing you can do to be sold out. We need to focus. We have to stop this nonsense about ranting on uh, uh, social media about different things. We need to focus on the agitation. Mazin Namdekano is suffering. He's going under torture. Go read up on Barrister Aloy Ejimako. Go read up on his statement. Go re read up on the, the press statement there. Go read it up. I'm not going to tell you what he said. Go read it up. I got it on my Twitter. Better more go to his Facebook handle. Barrister Aloy Ejimako, search for him. Read it up yourself. So it won't be I said. I'm so mad. I'm so pissed off because I, I you know, I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. I'm going to go to my next topic, which is COVID. It's there. It's raging. It's still there. It's killing people just like Buhari government. It's just like Buhari government is killing people. People are dying. A lot of people are going to hospital and not coming out because of simple thing that you got to do. Wear your mask. Wash your hands regularly. When you're in the crowd, wear your mask. When you leave the crowd, try to find somewhere and wash your hands. Keep away from people. Social distancing. You can do that. You go to my Twitter handle. I posted the home remedy things that you can do to improve or build your immune system. Exercise if you can, if you, you know, if you're able to. Take the vaccine. I know some people don't want to take the vaccine. That's why I, I posted that stuff on, on my Twitter handle where, you know, it's home remedy to build up your immune system. Do that and you'll be fine. I'm going to go to my next topic, which is men and way of life. BPH, benign prostate hyperplasia, is real. 
is wired in you as a male. You will have it whether you like it or not. Take care of yourself. When you start having the symptoms, go see the doctor. And moreover, if you are 50 and over, the list of things that is there waiting on you. For one thing, you're gonna run. You're gonna run into obese. You. That's one thing you're gonna run into if you don't watch what you eat. And when you have, when you're obese, guess what? You're gonna have high cholesterol. You're gonna have high. Your sugar level is gonna be elevated. You're gonna have high blood pressure. You're gonna have acid reflux. Name it. They. Uh, I mean. There's nobody 50 and over that don't take one medication or the other. And the more you don't take care of yourself, the more medication they will be adding to the list. They will be adding to the list. Before you know it, you started with one medication. And this medication I'm telling you is for life. Before you know it, you started with one medication. Before you know it, you're on two medications every day. Before you know it, you're three, four, five, six, seven. You need to take care of yourself. And if you are 50 and over and you are wishing for good health, I say to you, good luck. There's no such thing. And if you're a female, you, uh, your menopause is going to be looking at you in your face. The only thing I can tell you is take care of yourself and 50 and over, you've lived half of the century. Uh, you're not going to live another 50 years. If you are 50, you're not looking at another 50 years, maybe another 30 or 40, but you never make it 50. If you do, uh, well, good luck to you. I'm going to stop it here till I come to you next Friday. We'll be praying for you here at Volunteer Channel TV. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. And we're here on YouTube. We are going to be praying for you, and we are wishing you a wonderful and a blessed weekend. So we'll come to you next Friday. Take care of yourself, and goodbye.